right we are back and today we're going to be talking about a level guide so when you're doing xp grinding what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a booster uh usually i carry one on me but it, I, it's possible that i don't have one but as you can see i have one right here this is a three hour booster this increases your xp for 50 percent for three hours now if you think that's enough it's actually not enough as you can see right here the horde necklace gives you PvE combat XP of uh, extra 3%. <clears throat> there's other pieces of, of gear, there's like D necklaces that give you that as well. The Lich Ring is the only other accessory that I can remember off the top of my head that gives you XP as well. And if you thought that was enough, there's actually more. Um, if you check it out right here, let's see, do I have the Body Armor of the Wandering Knight? Yes I do, it's right here. See here I get another 5.1. So now if you do the math, 5.1 plus 3, that's 8.1, plus 3, that's 11.1% uh, of extra XP. Here I get another at 3% for exactly one hour. 3% XP boost plus the you know booster. So 11.1% plus 3. So I have about 14% XP boost at the moment. And now I can really focus on XP grinding. So I got my booster going, I got all everything else going, let's see, how much XP, so it was like around what, 3,000 in the beginning, it's probably not going to be that too much more, but we'll see. Six thousand three hundred and twenty-nine. So there you go, this is basically from 22, I would say, 21 to 23, I would definitely grind here. Alright, so we're basically here at the rift, and again, I know these monsters look like level 34 because it's just showing my screen. And for some people, this is like by far the best core farm for, I mean, but it, it kind of is for the lower levels. But there just isn't that many ads for my taste. You know, yeah, there's a lot of people here usually, so it's a good place to get, you know, cores and whatnot. But actually, if you look a little farther over here from like 23 to 25... I would actually fight these spiders because look at this. Look at how many there are. And look how many I can pull in one small area. And their spawn rate is ridiculously quick. Quick. And there you have it. You could just kind of clear out this entire area. And I know that Cyclops is right here. Um, and if you really um, don't want to deal with him, then just wait, just just kill him first, and then you're free for about 30 minutes to just grind here safely. I will hands down say that the one of the fastest things that you can do to get XP, even from level 21 to 26, is doing regionals. I'm just showing you mob grinding spots, but look, Field of Screams, uh, you want to do Toadstool Takedown, uh, the Ill-Gotten Grains, Castle Crashers, um, the Rough Scar Boar, which is called the Tusk Tyrant. Uh, going Whole Hog. Let's see, the Rising Army, or the Risen Army. The Braindeer Road. Um, let's see, a Deadly Quarry. And the reason for that is like, at your level, you're getting about 90,000 XP to 70,000 uh, XP per, you know, regional. And like, it just takes literally small steps. Like, you're already going to be clearing the ads. So not, why not do this every three hours? So... You not only do you get skill XP, which is more important, because the thing is, like, mob grinding is only as efficient for, I would say, class XP. But it doesn't really give you anything other than cores, gold, but, like, you're missing out one of the most important things, which is skill XP. So might as well just do your regionals. If you don't know what a regional is, this is what is a regional. These quests are quest objectives. That's what we call regionals. Um, so afterwards, do Faded Glory. Um, rumble in the wreckage this one uh, resets every 24 hours there was a time when this actually reset every three hours what well, you know those are the golden days um, let's see the field of blood that's another one and here are the last two stops trial of the tomb and the manic mushrooms so when you're on level 21 to 26 these give you the most XP I d didn't bother doing any of these I know you can do these, but they're just so low 
and they don't really net you fat XP until you get to the higher levels. Like now they give me good XP, like for example that gives me about 200,000 XP, but in the past that didn't, um, or in the lower levels. So now that we're here, we're at Castle Crashers, you're going to want to clear out all of these ads and really if you have any recipes or anything like that, save all that cloth. This will help you get your enchantment up. The reason this spot is good is because there's only about three or four archers and the rest are melee. Nothing is worse than fighting multiple archers. It is a pain and it's just, you have to chase them down. They don't actually follow you. So here we go, with the Manic Mushrooms. This is where I go to from level 28 to 30. And this is the fastest way to get there. I would say I spent like an hour per level here. But as you can see, I'm just kind of running around in front of them. And they're instantly getting upset. I just keep like phasing through them. Alright, well there you go. From 28 to 30, there's two big groups. There's one on the right side and then there's one on the left. Uh, one of the most important things in XP farming is to be able to efficiently farm but don't get yourself killed. So for me, as a berserker, I recommend using Nightwind or... And basically, the importance of Nightwind is these two things. Old Empire Belt, uh, because it gets you your rage faster, and the Guillotine Boots, which is called Old Empire Boots. See, I have a max roll, so I get my health back, about 10% of my health every time I, I swing my axe. Now if you don't have that I definitely recommend another weapon that you can use which is going to be the Nameless Heroes Double Axe. This gives you 11% to 15% with a max roll of your health when you leap. If you don't have that there are alternatives. For example if you get the Ring of the Whispering Serpent having eight green runes active. Um, by doing that you get to restore 2% of your health on all of your attacks. If you don't have, don't know what runes are, runes are basically the nice little colors you see at the bottom of your gear. Um, when you basically get it up to rare, which is blue, um, you get the first rune at purple, you get the second rune at legendary, you get the third, and at mythic, you get the fourth rune. So as you can see here, by pressing right trigger, I can see how many runes I have active. Unfortunately, I only have five greens. So realistically, the ring that I'm going to be using is not going to be, uh, I mean, obviously for XP grinding, I'm going to be using the Lich's Ring. But let's say I want to sacrifice the Lich's Ring and give up 3% XP for health. I could use the Ring of the, of, the, of the Plague, wherever that is. Let's see, where is it? There it is. And right here, I get 1% of my health back. These are all ways that you can heal yourself as a Berserker. Now, as a Mage, you can use the Placid Mage's Belt to blink. You know, the accessories apply for everything. Um, for the priest, obviously, you can heal yourself. The crusader, your crit build can heal you. I recommend the ring of the serpent. Sacrifice the lich's ring for the ring of the serpent because that's going to heal you through most things. Uh, that's the only way you can heal yourself, really. Um, there's other ways that the crusader can heal itself, too, until you get class points. But honestly, the ring of the serpent is the best alternative at the moment. And the ranger, obviously, is mark. Now... Well that pretty much concludes today's video uh, for just from level 21 to about level 30. Tomorrow I'm going to be showing you guys from level 30 to 38. Um, I know it was a lot of content and I just realized it's about 18 minutes so instead of uploading the entire video I'm just going to split it up into two video parts. Um, but again guys I just want to thank you guys for everything that you guys are doing. Um, I'm here to help and I'm going to always be here to help even if I don't play this game as much. I'm going to be here until the game basically pretty much just decides to retire but I am going to be trying some other games like Cyberpunk, um, uh, Genshin Impact and if you guys have any ideas of any other big RPGs like I've been hearing a lot of things about Diablo and but more importantly I just wanted to thank you guys for literally supporting everything that I've done for these past eight months honestly I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys um, because I just did this for fun because this game literally gave you nothing it gave you no information and we all had to figure it out and one of the hardest things that I did in this game is basically try to figure everything out alone and then with friends in the guild and you know saw a lot of friends come and go and enjoy this game and then just quit and retire so 
um, you know, my last thoughts are just pretty much this game is a lot of fun and enjoy the time while you have it. And when you get burnt out, remember that this game is a marathon. It is not a race. So enjoy it while you have it. I know these are exp XP grind spots and you can get there quickly. But if you do just want to know one thing is that level 30 is the best place to kind of sit at because you can unlock every single dungeon at that point as long as your gear score permits it. When 35 is when you unlock the Abyssal Keys. But I'm just gonna close today's video with that. Uh, and I want to, just, uh, you know, just want to say, don't forget to follow the socials, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, which is gonna be the Guitarist 562. Um, I'm gonna start tweeting a lot, and remember, just hang out with me on Discord if you ever want to, because I'm gonna be hanging out in the voice channel a lot, and you know, just share some music, share some, you know, some of your favorite animes. Um, that's what I'm into at the moment. I mean, I've always been into it since, like, I guess, you know, middle school. Um, probably even younger than that. So, if you guys want to share any any of your interests and hobbies, you know. Um, let's talk about it. It's all going to be in my Discord because I'm actually going to be working towards building, you know, a, a deeper relationship with everyone that supports the games that I'm playing because I just don't want to stop that here. I don't want just the relationship to, to be just kind of be just two dimensional, just only stop at this game. I want to enjoy different games that you guys are playing and just kind of showcase any tips that you guys need for that as well. But all right, guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for everything, and as always, stay blessed.